started using this pacer with Paige, we had to take our hand on each of her legs and help her to walk like this. And we did that for two years. And after two years of doing that, now Paige can take her own steps. You are a rock star. with something called cerebral palsy and it's a problem with something in between I think my brain and my leg muscles and it makes it harder for me to walk like at home sometimes I might take like five steps until I need support or sometimes if I'm on the right surface and stuff I might be able to like stand up without any support, but I, if, if I'm like trying to walk around a lot, I need some support. And lots of times kid, kids ask me, like, is it because you have a broken leg or something? And like I tell them, well, if I'm walking on both two legs, do you think my leg's broken? Just kind of a little joke with them. I see you laughing. <laughs> um, well, I'm very, I'm a very social person. Is um, I have a lot of friends that I talk to at lunch and stuff. So. I like that I'm up. I'm, I like that I'm up and I can move. Well, it's an awesome thing to do to come help these guys. I've been helping them since last year. I also did a little bit at Roosevelt, like reading and stuff. And watching Elena walk is awesome. Seeing how she has to sit in a wheelchair all day, I think it's really, really cool. A lot of kids can't really actually do that. So I just love working with her. She's so fun. She smiles every time we see her. <laughs> Mobility Opportunities Via Education or MOVE is a program designed to help students and adults learn how to become more independent, specifically in the areas of sitting, standing, and walking. The Dubuque Community School District implemented MOVE in 2004. And I became a MOVE trainer in 2005 in Bakersfield, California, where the founder, Linda Badabi, taught me how to implement MOVE for our district. MOVE allows us to work in mobility skills throughout the entire day so that there's a balance between academic work and mobility skills. We want to have kids continue to progress in their mobility skills so that they do not lose their skills. If MOVE does one thing well, I think it teaches our students and everyone that's helping them the possibility of dreams. Wyatt, it's time for us to check schedule and take break, okay? Let's go over and check it. I'm going to move you out. Okay? Table, we are going to stand. Ready? 
Good boy. Good boy. One, two, three. Excellent. Standing. Now let's go check schedule. Okay. What's first? You got it. Break time. Well, down okay, in the now. gym, you're going to see Wyatt and Jenny, and they're going to be interacting with their gen ed peers. Wyatt will be using his gay trainer. Staff will be nearby in case he needs any assistance. And um, also during that time, Jenny can get in her gay trainer. Now, Jenny's not quite ready for walking in the gay trainer, but she is ready now to learn how to take weight on her feet. So she's working on balance. And what works really best motivating for her is to have her friends gather around her and provide lots of encouragement. So they might sing and talk. And, and as well, Jenny then is in the gym and she can look around at all her friends and observe what they are doing. And she will be an active part of the group. Swish, 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 the wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. There may be all sorts of reasons why a student would use the MOVE curriculum. Some of our students would need it from the time that they're born. Other students by accident are left with a disability that requires um, the use of increased mobility skills. So MOVE can benefit a wide variety of people that have physical disabilities. Elaine is going to actually transition into a chair, which is also very important. A lot of people wonder, you know, they look so great in their wheelchair, why would they need to sit in anything different? Well, the reason is because every time you're put in a different position, it makes your body work and use different muscles. So in a different chair, she's able to maintain her body in a different way than she is in her wheelchair. Today we have our jars set up. What do we do with the jars or what do we not do with the jars? We do not pick them up. We do not slide them around. Good. Do not pick them up and do not what? Open them. Open them. Do not open those jars. My son Joel is 17 years old. He just turned 17 in January. He has a twin sister, Rebecca. Absolutely loves senior and especially loves the sports here. Follows all the games. We go out of town as well as here and um, cheers like crazy. He gives all the guys high fives. He had a birthday party with the varsity basketball team that we arranged and he just had a blast down in the team room. and. Um, does very well academically. Um, it's just, you know, getting processing is slower for him. And um, but I think that getting up and moving more, um, we got him into gym for the full year, which is really important. I think, um, as you can see on the pacer, he, that's his only really chance to get up and walk on his own and play some games, throw some balls and stuff on his own. It's been excellent. We've had great support all the way through from Eisenhower, Roosevelt to Senior. Um, the teachers have been great. Um, administration has been great. Um, Joel loves to, you know, pick on people and the people that pick on him the most, I think he likes the most and stuff because he'll give back <laughs> whatever they give. Um, so yeah, we, we've been real happy. Anything we've asked for, especially at Senior, now that we are here has been um, given to us, so we're real excited about that.
safe. Yeah. Brody has made some great progress in the few years that he's been in school. He started using a stroller and then he went to a walker and now he's walking completely independent. So now just watch what he can do in kindergarten. Brody's an awesome guy. He is part of our class and we love having him here. Great smart time. Right over here, Brody. Hands to the right. Hands up high. Hands high. High, high, high. Hands down low. Down here. Left and right. Left and right. Left and right. Up and down, up and down, up and down. All letters on the ground, por favor. What letter? All letters on the ground. Eight. Okay. There you go. Eight. Right to you, Jake. To Mrs. Okay. Are we ready? Remember, it's the big cheer. You have to be the cheerleader. Stand up and say your letter, right? right. Ready? Give me an A. Ah. Give me a B. Up. Give me a C. Come. Give me a D. Duh. Give me an E. Ah. Give me an F. Give me a G. Duh. Give me an H. China has made a lot of progress with her mobility skills. She's able to work on her mobility skills throughout all the daily routines at school and she is able to walk both with and without her walker. Um, with her walker she's able to be a little bit more independent from an adult but she's able to participate in meaningful activities with her friends. in a bubble for the first seven years of her life, you know, taking her just minimal places. And when we were taking her to the minimal places, you know, she began to have better health, you know, and she would not end up in the doctor or in the hospital as much. Uh, at that point, then we decided that, you know, maybe now is the time to progress and, and try this. And with the backing of her doctor, we chose to put her in school. And if at any point we reluctant and her health decreased then we would pull her out. Um, we did not have that issue at all. You know she was wonderful. She loved being with the other kids. She loved being with the adults. She loved being in the equipment. She loved riding the school bus. Absolutely loved it. It's a tough decision but we made it and it was the best one we ever made for her. Yes, MOVE is making a difference for our children due to the dedication of our teachers and parents in implementing this program. It is making a difference. Andreas could be our poster child for his mobility skills. When I first met Andreas, he was in preschool and oftentimes he would be found laying on his back scooting around. Um, so with the use of equipment and supports from adults and of course motivation, he was able to build his mobility skills. He took his first steps without any assistance when he was in first grade. 
Andres is a very smart little boy who just needs to be motivated to work, so we have to find things that motivate him. And um, we use the computer. That's how he learned to take his first steps, was walking to the computer. Um, because I think it's just amazing how, like, Dinobox, for an example, how he can talk and stuff. It's just, I think it's amazing. 